everyone, this is Bill's Man. I'm your DM, JVD, and this is the Ancient War Reborn Session 7. Uh, West isn't here today, so I figured I would just sit in front of the camera with the guys, um, going around the table. Uh, hey guys, you know me from Bill's Man, Devin the Great. Uh, my character is Luna Silverstream, the fourth level bard. And I'm the bearded wonder with the villains of man, and I'm playing Vesper Nork, a rogue. I'm Smiley, playing Ord Whitehammer, avid gun enthusiast. Honorary villains of man member. Yeah, <laughs> at this point. Right, man, <laughs> be, right? Um, as we last left off, you guys had come to El Toro and met with the Order of the Gauntlet. You guys had a council. Um, basically, you guys are going to go to what you agreed on. Is that you'll go to Waters, uh, Waters Deep, fuck, that's way north <laughs> from where you're at. You're going to Baldur's Gate, um, you're going to meet some contacts that you were given, and you're trying to track down the Cult of the Dragon and this, you're trying to figure out where they're going, basically. And uh, you've kind of got it in that they're probably slow because of all the cargo they're carrying, so you're trying to hope to cut them off in the pass. Um, does anybody remember their contacts? Does anybody have those wrote down? I know you wrote them down because I Wes wrote them down. Wes is in here. So I have my stuff oh, from right the Most uh, of them are dead. Contact Helja. Yep, that's Rune one of them. Strike. And yeah, and one more. To send info to him. That's uh, Kim Thar uh, Froon. That's who you've been talking to. And Akwin. That, that, that's your other one. Um, that one, he cut my writing that I can't. Yeah, <laughs> I know, and you write like a kindergartner. Um, Helder Runtrack, uh, she works for the Harbor Master and Baldur's uh, Gate. Um, and then you've got uh, Acklin uh, Celebon, and he basically uh, works for a bunch of the merchants in Baldur's Gate. You were told that most people that bring in uh, supplies from Baldur's Gate, you literally sell everything they have move all their freight across town because there's no only two roads that come into Baldur's Gate. That's how they make a lot of money. And then they reload it and ship it out the other side. So your goal, so at the moment, you plan on cutting off the Cult of the Dragon. Um, we at the end of the day, uh, you two had left. You are mad because Roland's mother was a drow, kind of set you off because of your past there. Uh, Ord, you had went with them, Vesper. Fire this gun off. Um, you ought to receive 150 gold pieces for your upcoming trip. Now, um, evening gets settled in. Is there anything you guys want to do while you're in Toral? I mean, you guys had planned on heading off tomorrow. Uh, you don't have to. You can stay here as long as you need to. Um, no, or wants to find July for uh, more than that, I remember. Yeah. Uh, as soon as possible. So he's up for even as soon as like as soon like first light. Okay. Uh, and the same. Uh, first light would probably be good. Yes, you're just tagging along. Yeah, right now I'm not really. I forgot. Trying to command. You trying to trade off us? Well, you so. had uh, passed for Noble, <laughs> where you knew that your mother was, and you had made the self sacrifice for passing that up because you had sold everybody out. Yeah. So you know that there's people against you that know this was going on today. Yeah. Because you had said something. That's why I stayed out of the meeting. Exactly. Because the more information you know, the more I might get out. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, uh, Orthar uh, Froom had decided you guys to take horses. Thought it'd be best by the river. Whichever way you want to go, he's got that covered. So, do you want to go by river or do you want to go by horseback? Yeah, this river quicker. I want to go by river. Yeah, I think it's a three day. It's a three day trip, and it's five by horseback. And probably less obstacles. Yeah, it's almost a straight shot. I remember we uh, talked about that a whole lot when I think we decided the river would be. Yeah, you yeah. just had a river. So there's nothing anybody wants to do while you're here. Um, can't think of anything. Uh, anything, supplies you need to buy or anything? I know you mentioned keg. Some, a keg of ale. Yes. Okay, that's not surprising. Mm -hmm. I might pick up a few uh, kegs. No. <laughs> I, might, I might pick up a uh, few arrows. I don't know how much they are. How much are they for? Like, was it a bundle of 20? I think it's like. It's a, it's a, 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 a gold. Yeah, it's not much at all, really. 
Well, how many can a quarrel hold? Twenty. Okay. Um, kill Drag, Strike Heim. We'll send you to the best L you can find here in town to hook you up with the cave. Because he really likes your gun. He really wants one. It's going to become all the drawer and rage. <laughs> Once people get word of your gun. So do I know that... I actually that have a to make it up one. Do I know that you want full plate? Well, I'm on half plate. Half plate? Do I know that? Have you mentioned no, anything? No, or he doesn't think much about it. Okay. Me as a character is one half plate because it's an old bump to my AC. Right, I was just asking or if said anything about wanting some no. or trying to find some. Because I would just lend you the money. So I'm still feeling guilty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What do you feel guilty about? You still feel guilty about what you did? Yeah. Friend, it's been a few days. Yeah. I mean, it's been quite a few days, actually. Yeah. Uh, you left, uh, let's see, you left for Oratorial on the 9th. You arrived on the 14th, and that happened that night before, so it's been about six, seven days since all that had happened. That's what that was. The one note I had was the date. <laughs> so, yeah, because I'm big on keeping good with dates, especially in this game. Um, because there's a lot going on. Uh, so, take a bell, no. buy some bolts. I'm caught up. I can't carry any more in my before. Okay. So. Um, what about you, Luda? Uh, just, uh, get, make sure we're there, uh, getting everything prepared for our trip to Boulder's Gate, and we're going to go on a boat. Uh, we're gonna yeah, on yeah, you're going to take a kill boat. So we're going to take a kill boat. Now, on my notes, I wrote down workers. Are these people that work on that boat, or...? Uh, Are these the workers that worked in my Hillers tent? Oh, uh, that, that's your Hillers tent. Okay. okay. I was double checking. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll just take the night just to kind of remember everything I can about uh, what they said to do in Boulder's Gate, the contacts, try to use my mind to get you know, like a draft of what it's going to look like when we get there. Okay. Um, morning comes. There's a few supplies I want to give, but I don't want to waste everybody's time with it. I'll just jot it down. Oh, did you just grab it? It's okay. So, I mean, yeah, you need something that's not out of the ordinary, just pay for it and write down. Okay, so you leave out. It's, uh, you're going to leave at dawn. It's a three-day journey. Um, you guys, Roland, who's not here, you guys head out. Um, we well, can either speed this up if there's anything you guys can say to each other. Um, Roland is all smiles, I would assume. He just left home. I mean, he was smiles when he got here. He's, he said he was very relieved. Um, his parents, along with um, Elosin, had went to Waterdeep to spread the message of what had happened to try to mount some type of defense against the cult of the dragon. Um, anybody, we can speed these three days up, or we can just move along. Cool, and let them play out. I wouldn't mind doing yeah. some fishing. Yeah, yeah, you can fish. I mean, I'm just saying, is there anything you, you guys want to play out? I mean, it's just you, a little riverboat captain, and like two deckhands. This isn't a big boat. Uh, like he said, uh, he's wanting to. Think of it as like a ferry. Yeah, Ward will be occupying his time working on a Rupert. Yeah, and you're working on Rupert. Uh, she, she's probably going to be fishing. I'm probably going to be over there talking to her, trying to uh, make sure that I can regain an ally still. All right, um, you guys are fishing, so you're probably the most observant. Um, only perceptions. Nope. <laughs> what do you got, though? A five. Oh, wow. A <laughs> rogue that can't see. <laughs> I'm just not a little bummer out there. There you are. Hey, 16. 16. Um, you notice off in the distance there are some um, rafts pulled up on the side of this river. But these rafts are massive. I mean, compared to the little river boat that you're on, like, they are 10 times the size of it. Hmm. It's like Water World. Right. Kind of, yeah, right. they're pretty massive. Uh, you get close enough, and there's quite a few of them. Um, you're there, only another perception. Or, if you're paying attention to this, that if she points oh. out, you can roll perception if you want. You can't do it. It's 10, but it's almost a 20. Oh, no. 10 is good. Okay. 
For instance, you look around where these uh, makeshift rafts, I mean, literally these rafts where you guys would cut down logs, they're made of trees. Okay. And you see massive footprints that go up the slope, the muddy side of the river, and off into the forest. And there's a ton of them. Um, and I, I, that's what I'm just saying. For where you're at in the river, that's how many of them and how big they are. You can see them just trot off to the woods. Look around the woods. There's broken branches and everything as they go in. So you just tell You're them assuming them. that whatever went through here was a lot of them, and they were pretty tall. Judging by the size of them, maybe 12 foot. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go talk to the uh, ferry captain. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, yeah. he, he can see this. I mean, oh, okay. Well, but I'm just saying, you guys notice, you notice these right. footprints. Both of you do. Um, I guess we should go see if that's out of the ordinary for here. No, he tells you he he refuses to go anywhere near that. So are we stopping the boat? He's not. You're going to talk him into it. He's refusing right now. I can tell you that. He looks at these rafts, literally made of trees. He looks at his boat because this river is miles wide. Yeah. And he's, I'm not going anywhere near that. Our brief okay. uh, search into the Coals of the Dragon, do we think maybe they have any any members that have footprints this large? Not that way you would recall. No. Yeah, because I always tell us cobalt. Cobalt and uh, humans. humans. Okay. Everything was, you know, your size. Um, or I guess smaller. Let's see, we just continue. I think I'm not good. even gonna try to talk to him. Yeah, because he, he when you, I mean, he, you look at him just to kind of consider yeah. it, and he's just like, no, straight to said, I am not pulling over. You know, you'd have to do a right. lot of bargaining, you or some heavy intimidation to get this guy. Because I mean, they're just in awe at what they see these rafts. Like literally, yeah. it's trees tied together. Yeah, I mean, I think I mean, our, we're kind of time sensitive. Yeah, and this could be or just like or. You would think these were made by giants being a dwarf, just by looking at them. Oy. You're, you're estimating about the size of each raft would carry four or five giants itself. And there's a, there's four of them here. If we're close one, we might be able to leave that fault. <laughs> yeah, I say we just uh, keep, keep it yeah. going. Oy. Um. You, eventually, you make it to Baldur's Gate. Um, there's only four ways into Baldur's Gate. One of them does not require the gate, and that is the harbor. There's the south side, north side, east. You got east side because the harbor's on the west. Um, every, you're checked thoroughly as you come in because Baldur's Gate is well protected. Right. Um, you're allowed in. No, nothing really stops you from coming in. I mean, I'm not just carrying contraband or anything of the uh, normal. Uh, Did you ram? No, that's not <laughs> gonna catch anybody's attention. But that ram will not break these gates down. These gates are massive. Um, um, it, Luda, you had said you're a harbor tattoo. Did you say that was on your ankle? Yes, it looks so. Okay, you wear boots. Yeah. Okay. But never mind. No one notices your harbor tattoo. Should be a tramp stamp. <laughs> She's not that, no, you're that type of girl. She's not that type of girl. Um, so you're Bowler's Gate. Um, you've got two contacts to make. Um, I mean, it's really you guys. Where you're gonna go? You let me know. I've got it down. I mean, what are you guys gonna do? Um, you're, you are. Are you from Bowler's Gate, right? Just like you are. Yeah. Okay, so, and then you're used to a big city being from yeah. Thelbar, so. And there are. As I was say, I was thinking Roland was the only person that hadn't been to a place this big because it's like, Baldur's Gate's huge. I mean, it's got a population like 150,000. So, uh, but this is a bustling place. I mean, you could easily lose each other in here. But you've got two, or you've got two people who kind of know the streets of Baldur's Gate some, so. Uh, what do you guys want to do? You got your two contacts. I say we hit up the merchant, the merchant district, and just to check out stuff and see what's moving and bustling, because that's where Acklin works at. We'll probably meet her. Is it her? It's a him. Him. We might meet him there. Uh, 
It's actively looking, but also information seeking. That's a, that's what I would want to do. I don't know what y'all want to do. Um, well, I wasn't in the meeting, so I don't. Well, I'm sure they filled you in. So well, I'd probably just tell them to give me the bare bones. So you're trying not to know anything. At all. Yeah, I'm just trying to make myself dumb. So you're just following around, basically. Well, tell, yeah. Whatever okay. they tell me to do, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to even ask questions. So I tell Vesper that uh, we're going to go to the merchant district and just we're just listening in, trying to hear if any <coughs> any kind of things going district on. District you're going to is called Blackgate. It's in the outer city. So I tell you that. I'll be following. You, unless you want to go by yourself. No, I, I, I say I probably do need somebody watch my back, and while me and her kind of yeah. listen around, scout out. I tell you to watch your goal here. Well, I have a sensitive up. Hold up, I get into the And do I have a like a description of this active character? Mm -mm. No, nope, you just know his shop. Okay. What's the shop's name? You said. Um, it doesn't give one. I'll just tell you, we'll, we'll search We're it. We're going to call it um, uh, Equipage Trader. Just going through names of the book, Equipage Trader. That's what he does. He sells equipment right. to people that carry everything. I'll tell you what, just, like I said, check out all the merchant shops, see what's going on. And then if you run across anybody named Acklin, we need to uh, let me know. Same thing. Tell you equipage trader, right? So, um, uh, Acklin is really well known within Blackgate for because everybody that comes in from the north side sells their stuff, so he buys a bunch of stuff. Turns around and sells it from everybody coming from the south or the east. Um, you come in, the shop's pretty busy. Uh, man, anything you could think of basically for a wagon, a car, anything you know for horses to carry. Is in here. For instance, uh, they already sell materials need for long distance freight hauling, wagons, rope, netting, grease, change, wheels, and so on, barrels, tack. So anything not that you would need right now, that you have a mount or anything. But I mean, you get the idea. He's even got repair equipment. He, he's known to repair wagons here. So um, being a man who uses his hands to create and build, he might have some type of kinship with this guy. He's a crafter just like you. Well, I'm admiring all the works. So, yeah, you probably would. Um, so you come in, uh, young boys, like, um, welcome to Quip a Trader. Or trader uh, how can I help you? Um, is that I mean, good? He, he's, but judging by looking at you guys, he's going to look at Ward first because he sees that you're firing everything. But, uh, you got a charisma of eight, you got a pretty high charisma, but he can't take his eyes off Luda. I'm not saying you're unattractive, but he's pretty crisp. I have a bad bet side of She's I'm pretty crisp. Yeah, you probably got a scout, perma, perma scout, yeah. as I like to call it. Because like, when you get high, you get perma grin. So, um, yeah, he's kind of looking at you, but you can tell he can't take his eyes off her. You realize this. He's pretty young. He's very odd. Yes. Yeah. I like walk up beside Luda. No, sir. I think you got a bit of an amount of uh, He kind of blushes. I'd be like, we're looking for Ackland. Is he around? Uh, yeah, he tells you uh, he's in the back. You know, what do you need him for? Uh, personal business. He looks at you strangely. He, what I'm following with the thank him for his wonderful displays here. Fine customer, sir. Uh, he kind of looks at you and shakes his head oddly. Uh, he tells you, um, well, one moment. And you see him that off to the back. Within moments, the young boy comes back and he uh, waves you guys to the back of the shop. Um, go back. Back, they're working on a wagon, and uh, there's an older man, probably in his mid 40s. He looks at you guys and he's comes in, he's wiping grease off his hands with a towel, and he says, uh, Ackland, take his hand. Oh, no, no, it's the same. <laughs> <hands. It's laughs> what? And uh, he kind of looks at you, and he looks at you too funny, because you're probably top-notch to this guy, look-wise, and he sees you, and he looks at you. <laughs> you can tell he's very confused. And he's like, um, 
I don't need any type of services, sir. Oh, no. no I, like, uh, I don't want to talk to you, but I want to say that you do fun work for me to see. Um, okay. Uh, how can I help you? I uh, tell him we have a... Uh, I think let me make sure before I say something. I think uh yeah. I know these contacts were given to us. I think Lee, Lee Elson gave them to us. No, right? sure. Orthar Croon. Orthar, yeah. He told us yeah. about Orthar. Orthar told us. Okay. I saw that we have a common friend. Uh, he goes by the name of Orth Orthar Froon. He starts laughing. Ah, that fat bastard. <laughs> How's he doing? Uh, so yeah, he 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 got us to where we needed to go, I guess. <laughs> he says he gets real serious, did he? Well, he he didn't bring us here, but <laughs> he, he um, helped us get along. Uh, he says, um, Fisa and you uh, must be important business. Uh, come to my office, and uh, well, he's got an office. Uh, he's got a barrel full of water. Ask if you want water, or maybe some little stronger. Yeah, so I'm going to yeah, okay. take water. Um, water? Uh, yes, water. Don't you help yourself? He's got a ladle and there's some glasses over there. Uh, brandy? Doesn't work. No, pour your brandy. Your dwarf, so there's a lot more in your glass than there is in his. <laughs> um, he'll say, uh, well, it's room since you, uh, it must be for the order, I take it, and he's still wiping some grease off his hands. And he's dirty. Yes, um, we are uh, we're hunting down. As much as I hate to say this, but uh, we're hunting down the cult of the dragon. Uh, he looks at you like he doesn't know who the cult of the dragon is. He says, uh, that, that, "That doesn't sound good, but that doesn't mean." Well, we were sent good. here to uh, uh, get with you, uh, find out any info we can on what was going on around here. He's very confused. What do you mean about what's going on around here? We're looking for. What's her name? Delay Floor. Yes. Is what I, I don't have that wrote down. That's why I couldn't figure it out. A woman is cohorting with worshippers of a giant five headed dragon. There you go. I do not know quite what was going on because I was excluded from the meeting after a irrequitable outburst. I'll give him the description of her. Mm -hmm. She also answers to Mordath. I know not what other names you may go by in Mazin Mini. Um, it was exactly who you're talking about. Three days ago, they left out of here on a caravan. Can you point us in the direction? Um, they're heading towards Dagger Ford. What are they hearing? Don't know. He says that. He's like, I. he, he, he doesn't do any listing. He doesn't carry a... Uh, uh, a charter. charter yeah. yeah, that's not his job. I would ask him. Charters are all on your mer all on merchants. I would ask him where we would go to find out what they were carrying out of here. Um, he, he, the merchants. That's all. That's all caravan business. Would the guards know when they check the wagons? Um, yeah, but most of that's protected. That's basically private information. It, the, get that's not going to be very easy. I look at because me. here's the thing: you could bribe them. But they could already been bought. Yeah. I look at Luda and be like, tongues can be loosened sometimes. But um, what? tongues can be loosened. Be sometimes. really we have to be turn visits from. Yeah, uh, we we know how you loosen tongues. <laughs> um, he uh, you get a bit furious when he says that he knows what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, just kind of ask, why do you hate such a pretty lady for? Other than her nearly killing the town which I called home with her small kobold army that used my weapons to do so. So, um, that looks at you curious. Your weapon, you say? I'm a blacksmith by trade. Um, you have your symbol on too. Forgot what I am. Else too. So, the symbol of my warhammer. She came to me saying that she was an agent of Baldur's Gate seeking to build a fort and needed a help arming it. So, uh, he, uh, tells you one moment. He leaves his office and, uh, he comes back and he's got a warhammer similar to yours and there's your forge mark on it. He says, uh, I bought this to hammer pegs. Do you know who from? 
And he looks at you like you should already know the answer. He just told you she left this town three days ago. Or it's a blind eye is starting to twitch in the socket. Um, he tells you, so what do you think they're doing? Like he, she, he, he's trying to gauge what you're trying to do, what you're looking for. Because here's the thing, I mean, if the caravan's left, I mean, what he's going to tell you is you can't just go up and just hold a caravan up when no one knows and you have no business to. I mean, you don't even, you, you don't, you've come in here without even a letter of, like, any documentation saying that you were sent here. So obviously what you're doing is hush hush. So you can't can't just go hold up a caravan yeah. and say, Hey, you're under arrest. Not when there's a bunch of different people there in the East well, I'm, I'll, 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 I will tell them because I don't know about what you guys discussed in the meeting. Yeah. But I'll yeah, tell them that um, there's like you said, this woman she was she supplied this army of kobolds and cultists and they've been raising towns south of here. Right, south of here, because we're going north, right? Mm -hmm. okay. um, and they have a large army, so they have to be transported in some way. So we thought they could be using small. caravans to put the cobalt in since they're small and moving them through that way. I'll tell you, there's no way in the world cobalt comes to the Ballers Gate. Everything gets checked. Money. So was I, I, even if it's an army, I can't see it though. Yeah. Cobalts are too mischievous. But if this is a woman, obviously there are there are more than just cobalt. There are humans, yes. So see, they easily blend in. What over? What is capable of a drain that's up to the sea? And cobalt's like to keep to the sewers. And here's the thing: I mean, cobalt, cobalt caravans leave here every three or four days. It was like, I mean, there's no telling. They could, what you're looking for could still be here, and part of it could already left. So they left three days ahead. How big was the caravan? Uh, he couldn't tell you. But that, that's none of his business. He just sells. Right. You know, some merchants. I'm just trying to see if he yeah. knew. He tell you. That's, I mean, that's, that's a charter that you'd have to go to Northgate and get. And, you know, good good luck getting anything from somebody without she could probably get it. costing you quite a bit. All right, if so she had contacts, because surely there's her people's contacts. And no, there's harbor agents here. Yeah. So surely you could get a contact to help. Get the information. That is, uh, one, we can catch up to them. Yeah. They're a caravan. We could get horses, and we can catch up fast. So we you know, know someone else has contacts here too. Like a contact here? No, remember you got somebody here that sold you off. So oh, yeah, I do want to kill her. <laughs> I'm just saying. So Northgate. Someone and does have contacts here too. I need to contact. I need to that deal with you know. Under, like black market dealings and stuff. My own contactor might need a save. What was her name? On my way down. Um, I don't have I don't have my notepad with me. Uh, that would be. Man, you're last. It's uh. Was your last Acria Sackus. Why hammer? Acria Sackus. Yeah, she owns a shop called Shop of Holding. She's a tiefling. And basically, she sold you off into prostitution after killing your father. Yeah. So. You, your brother, and your brother sold you all off as payment. So, so you, you do. I know. I don't, I'm not saying you know that. No, I'm just saying he's got he's got some he's got a vendetta here. Yeah, but um, do you, how much do you know that? Though? I don't know that. He, I'm saying his character does. I mean, you just know that someone has his mother. I don't know if you ever come out to who those guys were. But I think we should. Did you come out and say there was yeah. a vegetarian? Yeah. Okay. I think we should check these other shops. Um, I'm going to um, pull you to the side. Okay. While they're talking, because I figure you guys are probably talking about all this. And. Uh, oh, what the hell are you doing? I'm going I'm to tell you about uh, Agri and her shop of holding, and that she deals in a lot of black market stuff, and she may have information that we need. But I'm not going to talk to her. Mm. Okay. Just I'm so you know, she's a she's part of the Zentarium. Oh, the Zentarium is everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like them. You, you shouldn't. You're a hard. But the information, <laughs> if we need the information, 
she All right, so she's one point of information. The Harbor Agents is another point of information. We got to do things quickly, and we need to get to the information. So Northgate can supply us with what was on that. More. What they know. Uh, what they call more. So the charter. I know, the charter. I know where to get drunk. But there's a few other things I think we should look for. Uh, we should check the rest of these Martha shop merchant shops. See if your weapons are in here because if she gave him one, throw one to him, she might have thrown to all these guys. Yeah, She's probably we don't want to go the fun total events. Yes. But we don't want to go busting down doors looking for her. I mean, no, I'm just saying, if he goes to the merchant shop just to see if she sold them, that's how they're doing their money. And they're we coming start in. asking that question. No, he's looking. No, just going to yeah, be looking? Yeah, it's looking. No, okay. The symbol's on them. Uh, then you said something about underground. It's a very good idea to go check the sewer system out. But I'm she... She did leave out here three days ago. Yeah. Any, anything over that kind of will be a scrabbler at most. And she's getting further away every minute yeah. we're here. Well, me and you, I'll go talk to your... your I, I, first, I'm going to try to find the Harper's agents here. That would be the best thing. I'm trying to think of where they would be in Boulder's Gate because I don't think he actually told me. But I know they're here. Well, you're from here. You would know where they are. You know, uh, yeah, because that's where I, you know, it's where I first came to Harper's Gate. So I'll hit up that, see if I can get the charter. And maybe y'all two can check the sewer system just to see like the footprints and stuff. Well, three days. Footprints. Well, there won't be no well footprints. not footprints, but like evidence oh, that there's a bunch of cobalt <laughs> down here. I don't know how you would tell that, but I'm sure if there's like a hundred, two hundred of them down here, it wouldn't be too hard to tell that they was funneled through here. They would have just been held up while July Four was made their way through town. Yeah, I don't think that'll be that way. The next town we go to, and the next town we go to, we know that might be where they're at. Or they might just move through the sewer right to the other side and yeah. camped out in the woods. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to go and uh, talk to the Harper Agency and see if I can't find out how to get this. Uh, uh, so where are we going to meet at? Because we're splitting up, so we need a meet point. Do I know a good bar? That might have been useful. <laughs> Actually, you would know a good bar. It's called the Purple Worm Tavern and Inn. That's where a lot of adventurers and like merchants and stuff go to. So we'll be at the Purple Worm six o'clock. Yeah. Okay. They get us all time to. We'll say you got here at ten in the morning. So. All right. So, so we're going. So I need to. Uh, Find the charter, correct? For what? charter ledger for the last caravan that left is what you got. Because the bigger the caravan, the slower they're going to move. True. Which means we can catch up with them pretty fast on horseback and it's a big caravan. But that's the thing, okay. Well, but he did tell you, I mean, since to just go up and arrest somebody is almost. But we're not going to arrest We're just going to have to track them. I mean, because he, he, he's, <laughs> he's explaining to you, well, now she's a criminal. I know you have your gun on vengeance, but she's a she's a criminal now. So, but, and, and he shot, and he tells you, you know, a caravan is its own law, has, is its own laws. It's almost like a council. No. It's between all your merchants because they're doing all the hiring out. So, you can't just come up and take her. At night, I mean, you could try to kidnap her, but I mean, what if they come looking for her if she's missing? He okay. Look, let me explain to you. How caravans work. No, they have the guards. Your merchants hire guards. What they do, they'll hire three, four guards at a time. Together, that, that should be enough to guard the caravan. Now, out when you're on the coastway, once you the tradeway, their own set of laws apply. It's almost a council. So, laws that apply in any town you go in do not apply to on the road. It's a totally different thing. So, I mean, if Say, you know, this fort you're looking for, and say, just say some of her associates as guards, and you're, you're going to go try to take them down. Either the merchant is going to question you, or the whole caravan's going to try to stop you. Because that's people that's guarding their goods. So, in a sense, you could be fighting your own army, just the three of you. I mean, you need to be really careful of what you're doing here. Well, if we if we if we run them down, though, we could keep eyes on them until we get to a town. Then we well, have more leeway. and then water, then water deep. Or mm -hmm. your your, neck, your biggest towns between here and Water Deep is the only big town that is Dagger for you. So let's say got to. And he he's up right. and he's telling you, you know, it takes caravans sometimes two three months just to get to Water Deep. It's a long it's a long way away, but I'll, you know, just by horseback. So if we catch up with them, then we can just follow them. He tells you, okay, well, if you're going to follow them, here's the thing. It's dangerous. 
I mean, you're going to have to contend with more than just a caravan. I mean, you're going to go through the, the troll wars. There's all kinds of monsters in the troll wars. Hot no, goblins, not to forget the rats. Trolls, rats I mean, well. <coughs> there's, there's dangers out there, and you get... If I'm a monster, you think I'm going to attack that caravan or the small group of pe people, three people sneaking around? He's like, and I, I'm just telling you. Chloroform. Chloroform. I mean, a Vesper wouldn't have a problem, but you definitely would. Uh, using some type of disguise and try to get on there as a hired. Uh, well, they already look. I mean, well, we can go to Dagger yeah. for it, and we can set up different identities and try to get hired on as guards for that caravan. I mean, he's not trying to discourage you. He's just trying to play out all your possibilities here. Yeah. That's just I mean, one possibility we could do. And you're, he, you said you said there was an army. I mean, who says the army leads out all at one time? That's true. Uh, did we tell him about the raft? Did we, we tell him, him about the raft? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, I made a reference to it. I tell him that on the way here, we saw like a giant raft made of trees. I've never seen nothing like it. You don't know what, maybe what's on it? How many rounds was it? His entire life. How many rounds was it? Uh, if, if you're not a humanoid race, he's never yeah. seen it. So. Let me see if he had any. Because, I mean, that, for all we know, that could be another, that could be another, what army she's building. Whatever is on that tree grass. Giants and dragons, they don't mix very well. No, not at all. No. You say that, but there was two white dragons when Felbar is attacked with all those frost giants. And orc. And drow. So under a common grounds together as well. Under a common couple of us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Leosa went to Waterdeep. Uh, Leosa yeah. already left Waterdeep. So, I mean, technically, is there any way we can send a message to him that we get there quicker? Mm. Well, yeah, you could. Carry your bird. Um, you take a ship, you can send one on a ship that might be going north. Yeah. I mean, we could let you could go at least yeah. her general direction, so maybe he could get a hold of contacts in Daggerford, and maybe they could detain them there. Well, here's the thing. We, we, do, do, you remember, do, you remember, do you remember when we were playing, you had this council, and I was watching this earlier today. You wanted a piece of paper and you threw it and he said, what's this? You forget something and I took it. And I said, no, you're not there. And the big thing you wrote down was, they didn't say what she looked like. So no one that left for Waterdeep knows what Jalen Ford looks like. So the Elsa didn't know? No one knows. Except for you guys that seen her. No one, him nor Roland told anybody what she looked like. Yeah. And Roland, and he knows and I don't like know you didn't tell them Yeah, that. and so, I mean, there was that. I'm going to sketch artist. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sure the city guard has sketch artists. Okay, so are you guys wanting to split up? Um, yeah, I guess um, you're going to go see about some contacts. Yep. If, I don't, if, they can't get, if they can't find me an answer, we'll go through your route. Uh, you guys are gonna check the sewers. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to. I'm just thinking cover two bases at the same time. Well, I can't think of anything that I'd be yeah. handy else with. Well, I'm so also kind of worried though. If we go, can we get in trouble for sneaking around the sewers? Mm -hmm. I can yeah. ask a guard, but you may not really say the question. Well, I guess you'll find out then. Luda, where are you gonna go first? Uh, I'm gonna go up to. Uh, my old Harper agency and see if it's still in the same location it used to be when I first became a Harper. Uh, yeah, it's still there. Uh, probably don't remember too much because basically Ellison was doing all the talking then, just showing me the ropes. But uh, I will go there and uh, kind of, not like be, like try to sneak in or nothing, but get in there um, without kind of being noticed from the outside. Okay, it's not that hard. It's about, it's... You know what you're doing, it's a bunch of hand signals and whatnot, yeah. so you can get to where you're going. And uh, a girl named Ginger runs this section of the uh, Harpers. I was wondering where my contacts I wrote down. Ginger. Somewhere. I can't remember, but I remember that name somewhere. But uh, You do? So I just made that up. Not for real. No, I just wrote it down. I know, but I was just like, I swear <laughs> that there's somebody named Ninja? close to that. I don't know. Uh, um, in my story. Meet with her, and uh, she's very happy to see you. She embraces you with a hug. 
because you literally left here from talking to her yeah. to go to El Toro, which brought you to Scornoble, to Grinness, and back, and now back here. So she's very curious to hear what you've been up to. Uh, her being a harper agent like myself, I can basically fulfill her and all the things that's going on. Not all the things, but... But she will, she pretty much yeah. knows quite a bit, because she knows uh, what Leosin was up to. I just tell her we've, uh, I've been with Leosin, uh, he's helped me get out of trouble a couple times, and now I'm trying to help him out. I said I've been across the, I get, I've been all the way north and all the way south, or all the way south and now all back all the way north. Um, I tell her we're tracking, have a buddy of mine, his weapons, uh, people stole them, and they're selling them, and there's a bunch of kobolds involved. And I said, but our main thing here is we're trying to find how they're traveling this small army, and I think the cold has something to do with it. And I say, uh, we need, I need to know if there's a way that you can help me find out, uh, let me get this correct. Uh, if I can get my hands on the last charter that left on a north gate. Uh, the charter. It's more like I should say a ledger charter. Yeah, or ledger. Ship, so. Yeah, ledger. Um, she'll tell you, uh, can't get your hands on it, but she can find out what is on it. Uh, she says, uh, as for kobolds, there have been no kobolds in the city, but she's like, um, we have been tracking large amounts of treasure that's been coming through the city. Supposedly that's been um, brought in by adventurers, you know, dungeon delving and you know, all this other stuff. Um, but none of the stories match up if you ask any of the people. So obviously there's something there. We've been watching it. Um, I can't tell you, even though you want the ledger, that that last caravan there was two wagons loaded full of it and there are still some left here in Baldur's Gate and we're waiting for it to leave. We're figuring that it will probably leave within the next two or three caravans. Um, this she, is treasure? Yeah, this is loads of treasure. Uh, she'll tell you that um, they first noticed it four months ago when some of it was sent north by ship. And ever since then, one stuff that th this massive amount of treasure that's just been coming in through all these adventurers has left by different means. That matches up. Well, What's the chick's name uh, again? I don't know. I don't Mornath. Mornath. I actually tell her that a woman named Mornath is the one that stole my friend's armory, his weapons, and she's been still. Well, he made them yeah. willingly. Yeah, he made them. And she lied to him. Yeah, she tricked him into making them. Up. And she's selling these across the globe. And I kind of do a rough... the globe. Well, <laughs> I give a rough draft or drawing of what the symbol looks like on them. I say... You should have one on you. Yeah. Oh, sword. yeah. I do yeah, have a sword. So I show her. I say, it looks like here there is some in Boulder's Gate. We talked to Acklin earlier, and he had a hammer with a symbol on it. And he said, this woman's been through here already. So I should ask you who's Acklin. I say he's just a merchant contact that we have. Uh, we're trying to help find out where his weapons have been going because he's using the gold to funnel through her army. I say on the way over here, we saw large makeshaft like uh, rafts made of trees. So I'm starting to get worried. Uh, she gets a little. She she looks at you uh, curiously. Large rafts. Yes. Where? About, uh, day, about two days ago. Yeah, about two days ago. Uh, coming here. On the river. Really? And y'all are telling me all this treasure is being found, and we got this going on. Uh, as you're talking to her, she writes down a note, and when you're continuing talking, she opens the door, and she sticks it out, and you see a guy grab it, and she tells him, you need to go investigate this right now, and then you see him leave. You know that giants made them. No, oh, I haven't told her that yet, but. Uh, you're pretty sure she's yeah. kind of called yeah. on to that. And I say, uh, I'm here with two others. They're not Harper agents, but I'm working with them, and they're checking the sewers out to make sure we don't have any traffic coming underneath the city with these kobolds. She's like, I tell you now, she's like, we've seen no kobolds at all. Okay. So they must not be coming into the city. Um, I would assume that they should be smart enough not to bring anything that 
can't pass for civil yeah. through Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate's well too protected. If one dies, I think I'm a kobold, just so people can just so you know, right? <laughs> so, he's a, so he's gonna be a wizard too, like smart and everything. You're gonna wear a monocle and a yes. top hat? Oh yes. <laughs> I, um, I played a bat for you. I told Jay, uh, what's her name? Jay? Uh, Ginger. Ginger. I told Ginger, that, oh, what's the bar we're beating that later? The purple worm. Purple worm. Mm -hmm. I tell her if she can, around 6 p.m. tonight, I'll be at the purple worm. And if she can find out this, this information for me, I would much appreciate it. Okay, what information are you needing? Just the. Uh, Find uh, f well, she said she could find out exactly what kind of gold and stuff was on that. No, no, no. She just knows it was. When right. I say treasure, I don't mean just gold. I'm talking yeah. about art objects, magic items, jewelry. I mean, when she tells you she would treasure, yeah. Think of like what you would find in a dragon's hoard. Um, Everything. You yeah. Know, so if she can find out specific. any any more detailed on what was in there besides just that, like what kind of guards are on it. Uh, was this woman spot, spotted, you know, leaving with it that I was talking about. Um, and the biggest thing is she said that there is a third load coming out. And I asked her, does she know where that's being kept at? So maybe we can help you keep an eye on it. Um, she tells you that it's up by Northgate. She, they're expected to leave within like the next one or two, three caravans. So I'm going to tell her uh, I'll be either there at the, at the Purple Worm or I will have my contacts that are with me who will be over there and trying to investigate that without getting caught, you know. Okay, so at six you're gonna meet Purple Worm. Do you want her to meet you there or not? Um, yes. That way I'll know at least I can be there and they can still be on watch for this thing if need be. Okay. So after this I uh I go and find them if I can. Okay, well here's the thing, you guys Oh they're meeting me at, yeah, they're meeting me there too. They're meeting you at Purple Worm. So if I got any time in between six and talking to her, I will swing by Northgate and see if I can find out where this is at. Okay. So let's uh, cut back to you guys. Um, getting the sewers isn't hard. I mean, it, all it is is just finding a grate where no one's looking, popping it open, and boom, you're in. Um, the question is, how deep in the sewers are you going to go? Not very deep. Just close to the docks because that'll be if there's any like heavy traffic there, that's where it'll be at. So, um, how long do you plan on searching? Ward's fairly impatient for the most part, if his hands aren't busy working on something. I mean, just basically looking for any signs of traffic through yeah. here. Let's say we find, find up express within the first couple of hours, let's call it. Yeah. I mean, literally, I mean, it's the sewers, you're not going to find shit. trash, yeah. Yeah, there's shit. no trash. It's yes. like campsites or whatever. Yeah, underneath. trash. I mean, yeah. your occasional homeless person, yeah. sewer rat. Toss them a silver. I mean, yeah. Man, you toss them a silver, dude. You're making their free of life right there. <laughs> Silver's a lot of money. It's like a wear rat right down here. Yeah, I'm thinking about throwing one at you, but I really don't want to get caught in combat. In you know, I'm, I'm, trust me, I'm really thinking about it. But it's just, I just, just, just two air going, going at it in a corner. <laughs> oh, that'd be mad. If I get mad, it's trying to run and they're hung up. <laughs> um, it was just a sewer we died for where we Okay. <laughs> I can't to be not. fair, uh, <laughs> mostly percentile, see what we come up with. I'm sure a five. Means there's nothing that's coming after yeah. you. Um, so after a bit of searching, maybe throwing up a little bit, I'm ready to go. That's okay. Like shit yeah. threw up. You've been you've been out here for three hours yeah. and not really seen signs of anything at all. It smells bad. Oh, it I'm is. It's go. horrible. You're probably a little nauseous. You probably have thrown up a little. Dwarves aren't are used to not taking baths and whatnot, but this still stinks to you. This is still pretty nasty. Oh, I've been drinking. So if, I, if, I, if I step in like some shit or something and get all over my boots, you yeah, probably do a I'm couple of times. So, gonna go out here and wash it off in the trough or some shit. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So while they're searching here, we'll head back. You go to the north gate. Mm -hmm. um, this is the area you were just in. This is this is the black gate area. This is where you met Acklin at. Um, what exactly are you looking for? Well, as you said, there's another large uh, shipment, like on a caravan, 
So okay, well, these crates will be put up in warehouses yeah. and whatnot. So I'm, I mean, if you're going to, you would have to sneak in if you wanted to check them because they're not going to be open. I want to try to sneak in. That's what I used to do. Well, could you get a warrant? A warrant would make people aware yeah. of what you're looking for. And then you're going to have to go through the guard. You're going to have to go through, you know, connections within the well, city. Well, if you just got a warrant that you were looking for contraband, doesn't look out of place, don't put what you're looking for, and then you just go in there and happen to look around. Are you you okay, you got to think, not everybody in cities are upfront, trustworthy people. People do sure. shady business. Sure. Okay, we buy a warrant. <laughs> what kind of workers do I see coming in and out of this place? Uh, just commoners and guards. Can we buy a judge? I mean, you got you to think <laughs> your merchants will have guards guarding their, their crates and their that layers and whatnot. Yeah. So if you want to roll me a stealth, I have a guard and a passive perception. I'm going to be smart and I'm going to cast a visibility on myself. Hey, who says they don't have stuff to They might, you? but. Not really. Most people are going to pay. I thought about sneaking <laughs> in. I'm like, well, if I get caught, I'm going to be, it's going to be horrible. Okay. But I'm going to go invisible. Okay, so you're going to go invisible. Let me see how long it lasts because I, I think, think it's an hour. hour. I think it's an, an hour. hour. Okay. I just want to make I think sure. it's an hour for invisibility to benefit. If it's reason. not an hour, then this is not going to work. You're going the wrong way, but yep. you can go backwards a little. And. Should be right there. Visibility. There it is. Yeah, uh, one hour. One hour. So that's enough to start searching. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Crates are usually nailed shut. You have a crowbar, mm -hmm. anything to pry crates over with, and it's going to make some racket. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I got any. I got scimitar, that's way too big. Do you have a um, of yours pack? Uh, okay. Samples. Now, you could use your sword. And use the pride open. But you could mess your sword up. I can pick locks. I got or, jack. That way you just kind of cut down his craftsmanship on a sword. Well, I mean, I mean, if you put so much stress on a sword like that, it could bend it. What? Well, how do you? Yeah, he just shit it. all over your weapon. It's one. <laughs> I forget to use some shit weapons anyway for the fucking happening. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I can use, uh, I got all the skills, I got jack of all trades, so I do got some more wood of, uh, I just need a dexterity check, yeah. but if you don't have a crowbar, it's going to be a little bit difficult. The only thing I have that would possibly help me with getting locks off is I have heat metal. Not a lock, it's nailed shut. So I don't know if I can heat you them nails. Heat the screws, you have the nails, kiss them apart. I do not have knock, I wish I did. I don't have any more. Do you have a sword, do you have a dagger? I have a sword and a dagger. Do you have silence? Do you have like a starter and... pack? I, I got Obviously not. I, so. I got mine. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. You got a sword or a dagger, I'm you, probably can, using a dagger, you yeah. can wedge it open, but it's going to be at a disadvantage. Yeah. So thing made for that so I need two dexterity checks. Okay. I'd at least need a 10 or higher. Oh, okay. Well, we'll roll both at the same time for thematic. I got a three so I need a seven. Um, seven. Nine. That's, that's six. So that's a nine and I got one and missed one so not happy. Um, you're trying to wedge it open man and it's I mean you're making a lot. You're making just a little bit of racket. I'm gonna look around and see if anybody. You do have a guard that comes away but you're invisible. And uh, he kind of looks around, doesn't notice that one of these crates has been messed with, and after a couple minutes, he leaves. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look up. Real fast. <coughs> cool. Um, if I see other guards, like if I make a lot of noise, I may use mage hand because I have 30 feet to throw something. Okay. To like get them throw off the back. Yeah. Okay. I will, uh, so this is at, uh, so I need to make two and I only make one, so. No, 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 you you need to roll two is what I'm saying. Because you're a disadvantage. Oh, okay, disadvantage, I got you. I mean, you've all, you almost had it open, yeah. but you've made a lot of noise, you attracted a guard. So I need to roll a seven on uh, both of these. Yeah, so, so you're attracting a seven. Yep. Same? No, that, you're good. Oh, not that time, okay. Uh, you finally wedge it open. Um, how many of these crates are you going to go through? Just the top, like the top ones that I can get to. I'm not going to go all of them. Okay, because, because there's, there's a lot six. of crates in this warehouse. Here's the thing, you don't know the warehouse that's it. Yeah. Roll me some percentiles. 
at least need an 85 or higher. No. No. Nothing in this one. I cannot find it. How, much, how long are you going to spend your hour in here? Uh, yes. You don't find them in this warehouse. Okay. So what's the name of this warehouse that you got a name for? It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, so I do not find them in that one. So within an hour, if I don't find it, I will leave. Okay. Yeah, you don't. And I know it's not in this one. And you've like searched quite a bit yeah. here. At least I can tell the guys when I meet up, it's not in this one, but there is a caravan or, you know, somewhere. Well, here's the thing. You're gone for three hours. You've probably talked for about an hour, so you've got about an hour to kill. So you can either try another warehouse. I'm going to try another warehouse, and I'm also going to uh, see how many warehouses uh, there possibly is with stuff in it. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Roll me percentiles again. Ooh, I said 85, that's an yep. 84. Yep. I'm going to be nice enough, I'll give it to you. Um, you go through a bunch of these warehouses, and you do find a warehouse. You crack open a crate, and I mean, there is a lot. I'm sure you have enough of the cast of invisibility to go through. Yeah, I do. Um, and you do find a crate that is just full of gold, copper, silver. There's gems. You might see a couple of nice artworks in there. It's just a gun. No, there is no gun. <laughs> That's all it is. That's but you do find, find a crate. After going through crates, I mean, you'll find crates that's got like rugs, you know, really nice silk clothing, typical merchant stuff, yeah. and then you find just this one crate that's full of gold. Now, full of full of loot. Now here in the like the different regions, mm -hmm. do they own? Do they all have like their own coinage? No. Okay, I didn't know if it was like, you know how like... Well, no, no, yeah, well, okay, thank you. A lot of this coinage is coinage from like the south. So okay. it's different types of coinage. You'll find you'll find coins that basically you would find in this region. Thank you for bringing that up. So yeah, you're kind of under the impression that no, a lot of this doesn't match up. Because you're getting coins from like way down in the south of uh, Faroon and stuff. So your coinage is different yeah. throughout this whole thing. So you're kind of thinking, man, maybe this is what I'm looking for. You get to look around that area, yeah, and then you find two more crates of loot. Do these crates have any kind of number on them? Mm -mm, no, they're not marked. They're just in a bay by themselves. Okay. I mean, like, you've got a bay, and then, like, in this bay, there's three crates. Your next bay might have six crates. Put a tracker on it. I'm, well, I'm going to get my dagger out, and I'm going to try to carve, like, a small X in the same corner of each one of these crates I find. How big is this X going to be? Small, but noticeable. Okay. So, I mean, if I, if you, you got to actually look for it, but I don't know where to look. That way I can tell them once we see it moving, if it's got that symbol on it, I can even let the Harpers know that I marked them. Okay, so you found these crates. I guess you're going to go to the Purple Water now and wait to meet yeah. these guys and tell them that you found them? Yep. All right, so now you have found what you think is some of the treasure. Yeah, it might not even be, but... That's a start. Yeah, and I put the crates back the best I can to make it look like I didn't break into them, which might be difficult, but... Okay. We'll just say you do. You take yeah. your time. So, purple worm, have her yep. in.